Mayong Adlao sa Tanan. Today's video, we're going to take you for a close and personal of this 2015 Toyota Vios 1.3e that is mated to a 4-speed automatic gearbox. As always, I'm going to take this Toyota Vios e for a startup and a full in-depth tour review, showing you the most interesting features from the interior as well as the exterior. So what are you waiting for? Let's sit back, relax and enjoy of this video presentation. <laughs> So here's the key. Let's go ahead and get started. The steering operation of the XP150 Vios is an electrical power assist with a support of a rack and pinion setup. For the E variant, it all comes with a 3-spoke design polyurethane steering wheel with sport grips at 10 and 2, a semi-flat bottom designed for a sporty touch, a touch of a satin silver accents that runs across at the bottom spoke, and a mounted controls for the audio system are located at the left spoke of the wheel. The Vios E under a 2NZ-FE 1.3-liter naturally aspirated gasoline engine is a 4-speed automatic transmission featuring low gear mode. By shifting the car into reverse activates the reverse camera and rear parking sensors, which is installed to the Vios E. Under the bonnet of the Vios E is a 2NZ-FE, 1.3-liter dual-over cam 16 valves and a naturally aspirated inline 4-cylinder gasoline engine with variable valve timing intelligence system technology known as VVTI and an electronic fuel injection. Maximum power output is 85 horses at 6,000 RPM and 122 Nm of torque at 4,400 RPM. Fuel tank size is 42 liters with emission rating of Euro 4. A 5-speed manual or a 4-speed automatic is the transmission choice for this engine and the drivetrain of the Vios is a front-wheel drive vehicle. Right now, let's talk about what's going on here. Toyota Vios. You know what? There are lots of these on every road in the country, even here in the city of Iloilo. Since it was introduced in 2002, the Vios is one of the most common cars that you ever seen, mapataxi kaman or private, particularly in TNVS like Grab. With that, it is one of the most best-selling and popular cars that is ever sold in the local market year by year. As a matter of fact, the Vios has produced five generations so far including the latest AC100 Vios, which is based on the Hatsu that is not available for the local market yet. And on that note, Toyota made a remarkable success. In this presentation, we will be focusing on the third generation model known as the XP150 and see what made this baby here ever so popular on Philippine roads. So the big question that I want to answer is the XP150 Toyota Vios is a far way better than the older ones. 
we'll see about that. What we have here is the mid trim 1.3e and actually this variant is way more common than the 1.5g and it focuses more on a personal vehicle for many or somehow it uses as a business car like TNDS or Transport Network Vehicle Services. The reason behind it is because the E variant is cheaper than the G trim but they have the same qualities between the two. For instance, the Vios E gets some body color door handles, side mirrors, which are only power adjusting, and the front grille itself. Speaking of front grille, the XP150 Vios has a sharp, seductive front grille with chrome highlights which makes the car even more sportier at its presence, matched with a trapezoidal lower front grille. You know what? This one is a better looker than the XP90 model that has an inspiration of the previous RAV4 and 86. Standard for this are two beam smoked halogen headlights and this car is available with halogen front fog lights for the E variant. In terms of design, the XP150 Vios has a major complete difference from the XP90 model. It has slim shape from its body silhouette with the presence of a sporty and sexy body design that signifies that this XP150 generation Vios seems to be funky yet dramatic. If you take a look at its side profile, the Vios has a European look that reminded me of any European cars out there and in my perspective, the XP150 Vios is like a Grand Tourer. For the E variant, turning signal indicators are mounted in each front fender, which is the same thing from the lower variants J and base except for the G variant that the indicators are mounted on the side mirrors. At the back, you get bulb type taillights and looking at the rear face of the car, it gets a sharp sporty design which is very attractive on a person's eye. For some accessorized features, this car was installed with rear parking sensors. Jump inside, the interior of the XP150 Vios gets a major difference compared to the XP90 which takes it to a different level. Have you noticed the instrument gauge? Well, if you do, the instrument gauge was now moved to the steering wheel column instead at the center point at the dash giving the previous generation Vios an iconic style. The purpose? Visibility. That is one of the most important things in many types of vehicles. The rest of the dash, sporty, elegant, and futuristic. This is how I describe this thing here at Wala Nang Iba. The XP150 Vios is bigger and wider compared to the previous XP90 generation and with that, more space is required for a nice comfortable ride no matter what place you take. And the seats itself are nice and comfy as well even though this was made in fabric originally. Therefore, the Vios is a perfect daily for all generations and besides being a Toyota, Reliability, durability, and versatility is present as always, paired with a higher resale value despite its standard that everything would last for long. Plus, economical gig kaayo. With all these, it is proven that the XP150 Vios is far way better than the older ones, and popularity wise, there's no question about it because the Vios has all of its needs. It is affordable, easy to drive, reliable, and most importantly, economical so who can deny it i can guarantee you that the vios is still the number one all-time favorite vehicle in town no matter what generation it could be and this is the result of toyota's success the vios e rides on 15 inch alley ribs which are wrapped in delium evolution sp tires that measure 18560 r15 brakes are ventilated discs in front and drums in back Matrician struts and torsion beams are the suspension setups, which apply for both front and rear. Speaker, bottle holder and the storage, window lock, central locking, window controls, all four windows in this car are powered while the driver's side window gets a fully automatic function in both directions. Driver's side cup holder, mirror controls, monitor release lever, boot door release, fuel door release, Vios floor mats. The driver's seat of this Toyota Vios E gets a fully manual adjustments. Seat back, height adjuster, 
and down there is your seat sliding position. You have the same set of adjustments as found on the driver's side. However, it loses out on a height adjuster. So let's start it up with the door closed. The Vios E comes with an aftermarket touchscreen head unit with 8 or 9 inch LCD display and various media connectivity settings. The standard feature for the Vios E is the four speaker sound system. In the car of its sage, uh, I think the four-speaker stock sound system of the Toyota Vios E works absolutely fine. It's very smooth. It doesn't seem like unpleasant to your ears. Small size storage area. And here's your center armrest. Little cubby. Hand-operated parking brake as I showed you uh, earlier. storage a 12 volt power outlet standard aircon controls temperature dials different modes fan speed air defrost recirculation outside air two air vents in the middle hazard switch so this is the infotainment system of the Toyota Vios and I do believe this is a stock or maybe it's an aftermarket so I don't know about that. But anyways, uh, good setup, very nice to see and it is very understandable. Currently you are in a Bluetooth audio streaming with your uh, current song title information, album, artist, album art, go forward, go forward the song, go back with the song, play and pause. And these are your different section menus. But before we tackle about this infotainment system, so let's go on with these uh, touch sensitive uh, physical buttons. Here you got your uh, power button, home button, go back, and volume controls. Hit this uh, home button. 
to go to your home menu whereby this is your uh, home menu setup your clock navigation music bluetooth and car settings hit this uh hit this one to go to your different sets of uh, menus actually this is an android uh, setup your uh, audio system so let's go first with the most uh, most uh, important one which is the car setting now this is your uh, settings menu with your device port system info car settings factory settings volume settings you can adjust your uh, media call mix ratio Android settings that's pretty much it let's go back to the Bluetooth menu whereby on your Bluetooth menu it contains your phone menu your audio system or why not like your dial pads contact details and your settings that you can uh, connect to your phone through this infotainment system and your call history you can disconnect it if you want to your e-sound your avin calculator you can calculate something that calendar car settings downloads your google galleries and so on and so forth it's very self-explanatory sort of like a android or tablet go to your different musics okay go back to our bluetooth Well, on a jolly note, it's a very self-explanatory uh, system. I guess that's the end of our demo of this infotainment system. Google Maps. This button uh, allows you to go to set your uh, uh, digi digital clock and this button goes to your uh, different sets of uh, auto trip uh, display light and indicator controls on the steering wheel the left spoke has your uh, volume controls, seek track, and your mode button. While on the right side, there's your warp controls. Now, the steering wheel in this car gets a manual tilt and telescopic. You're adjusting. I'm sorry, this is a manual tilt only, adjusting using this lever right down here. Central locking. Handle on the ceiling for the driver's side, driver's side sun visor with a vanity mirror. Reading lights, interior lights, and your manual dimming rear view mirror. Front passenger side sun visor with a vanity mirror. Front, front passenger side uh, grip handle. Located at the ceiling. Cup holder for the front passenger side. And you get a good size amount of glow box. Perfect in size. Little storage right here. And also you get a uh, USB ports. Wake up, this 
All right. So that is it of our startup. We can put this vehicle off and continue with the rest of our review. speaker and a window control. In terms of space at the back, the XP150 Vios gets a good ample amount of room. In accordance with my height, the space here is on an average roomier side. I do get a good amount of legroom and a tad bit of headroom. It's not bad to sit here at the back together with its nicely comfy seats that are made in leatherette making the trip so relaxing. On both sides of the front seat backs are storage pockets, whereas in the middle is a bottle holder, cup holder, or storage, which may depend on a person's use. There are grip handles located at the ceiling for both sides of the rear. There are two different ways to pop open the rear boot lid of the Toyota Vios E. First is by the lever inside the cabin that I showed you before and the key. Opening up the boot gate of the Vios, you are greeted with a 503 liters of boot space. Underneath of the boot floor is the vehicle's spare tire. For safety elements, the XP150 Vios E comprises of two airbags, anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution and brake assist, ELR seat belts in all seats, high mount stop light, child lock for the rear doors, wireless door lock, and Toyota vehicle security system equipped with alarm system. Special thanks to Uniwheels Iloilo for allowing me to feature their second-hand or slightly used vehicles in the line. If you are interested to buy their used cars or second-hand cars in the market, you may head down to their dealership or you may contact them via the contact details located in the description box below. Thank you for tuning in of the startup and a full in-depth tour review of the 2015 Toyota Vios 1.3e that is mated to a 4-speed automatic gearbox. I hope you like this video and if you do, make sure hit thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, if you're subscribed to my channel, please hit the notification bell button to get notified for my latest updates. And don't forget, follow all of my social media platforms. As always, I'll see you next time for more latest videos on YouTube. God bless you, more power, I love you all, and mabuhay!